The rhythmic tapping of a woodpecker has been etched in my memory since I was a child. Woodpeckers were a rarity in my hometown, and I yearned to spot one. One afternoon, I was captivated by a woodpecker with a long beak energetically pecking at an almond tree in my grandma's backyard. That moment sparked a lifelong fascination with these birds and their unique drumming. Woodpeckers are more than just birds with unique beaks. In many Native American cultures, they are revered as symbols of power and strength, with the ability to communicate with the spirit world. There are many interesting stories and folklore surrounding woodpeckers. Woodpeckers are known for their sensitivity to changes in barometric pressure, which can indicate an incoming storm. This is the basis for the folklore of the woodpecker's clock. If a person hears a woodpecker drumming on a tree in the middle of the night, it could mean a storm is coming. The woodpecker's kiss is a delightful legend. It says that if a woodpecker lands on your window and taps its beak, it brings good luck. The woodpecker is seen as a messenger from the spirit world, signaling good fortune for the person it visits. Here are six fun facts from the whimsical world of woodpeckers. Woodpecker's smart head. Imagine having a built-in shock absorber in your head. Woodpeckers have a unique skeleton that lets them drum on wood without getting a headache. Their skulls have a spongy bone structure that acts like a cushion, and they are equipped with thick layers of protective muscles that encircle their brains. So, when they peck away, they are like nature's little carpenters, safely absorbed from the impact. Tongue trickery. Woodpeckers have tongues that are as impressive as their drumming skills. Some of these feathery artists sport tongues as long as their beaks. Why, you ask? To fetch insects that are hiding deep within the bark or wood. It's like having a built-in insect probe. Barbed tongues. Think of woodpeckers as the ultimate insect detectives. Some types have tongues with tiny barbs, which make catching insects easier than winning at hide-and-seek. Those bugs can't escape this crafty bird's clutches. Handy feet. Woodpeckers possess a clever arrangement of toes called zygodactyl feet. That's a fancy way of saying they have two toes pointing forward and two pointing backward. This nifty adaptation lets them cling to tree trunks with the ease of a seasoned rock climber. Nature's drummers. Have you ever heard a woodpecker's rhythmic drumming on a tree? That's their way of sending messages to other woodpeckers. They're saying, hey, this spot's mine. In a language only they understand. It's like having a secret code between woodland neighbors. Forest guardians, woodpeckers aren't just percussion virtuosos, they're also unsung heroes of the forest. They help keep insect populations in check, much like nature's pest control squad. Additionally, their pecking creates cozy homes for other critters, making them true caretakers of the woods. Some woodpecker species such as the pileated woodpecker can create large cavities in trees, which can be used by other large animals for nesting or roosting, this includes animals such as owls, bats, and flying squirrels. So, whether you're a curious teen or someone who's embraced a few decades, woodpeckers offer a symphony of natural wonders that make the world a little more magical. We now know that woodpeckers are fascinating creatures. But how do they survive in frozen Canadian winter? As I wandered through the aisles of my local library, a surprising story about woodpeckers caught my attention. In North America's woodlands, woodpeckers face a seasonal debate. Some of these winged residents transform into snowbirds, seeking warmth in sunnier climes when winter's frosty grip tightened. Others, like the tenacious downy woodpecker, stand their ground, embracing the snow-covered wonderland and enduring even the harshest northern winters. The downy woodpeckers are a symbol of resilience, unfazed by the icy winds and frozen landscapes. Like miniature carpenters, they chisel away at tree bark, uncovering insects and hidden sustenance. And oh, their red caps, vibrant beacons in the wintry scenery, make them unmistakable, as they dance up and down trees in a unique flight pattern. But they aren't the only steadfast ones in the woodpecker tapestry. The hairy woodpecker and the majestic pileated woodpecker proudly share the title of year-round dwellers, proving that the ice-cold seasons hold no fear for them. However, not every woodpecker embraced the winter chill. 
The yellow-bellied sapsucker, with its name as charming as its behavior, seeks refuge in warmer corners of the southern United States, escaping the bite of winter with strategic flight. As I absorbed these stories, and left the library, I couldn't help but feel a sense of admiration for these little birds and their adaptability. I learned that these tiny drummers hold such big surprises, like their ability to drill up to nine feet into trees in search of insects. Whether they're braving the cold in the north or seeking refuge in warmer climes, these beautiful birds always seem to find a way to survive and thrive. Let's close our thoughts on woodpeckers with a beautiful story. Here's a heartwarming tale of a young boy who found strength and confidence through the magic of woodpeckers. Once upon a time, nestled deep in the heart of nature, there lived a curious little boy, with a love for all things wild and free. The little boy was called Little Feather, and he was fascinated by the stories of the spirit world and longed to have a connection with it. One day, while playing in the forest, he heard a rhythmic tapping sound coming from a nearby tree. To his surprise, it was a woodpecker, pecking away. In his culture, woodpeckers were believed to have the ability to communicate with the spirit world, and Little Feather felt drawn to the bird. He visited the woodpecker often, observing its pecking and listening to the peaceful rhythm it created. Over time, Little Feather felt a deeper connection to the world around him and a growing sense of strength and power within himself. Although Little Feather never heard the woodpecker speak in a language he could understand, he felt that it was communicating with him in a way that transcended words. He learned to listen for the messages of the spirit world in the sounds of nature and in the quiet moments of his own heart. With this newfound understanding, Little Feather felt a greater sense of purpose and connection to the world around him. And so, the fascinating world of woodpeckers continues to captivate me, with their unique abilities, quirky habits, and unending drive to survive and thrive.